I'll tell you, who may have something to hide, but she is not hiding it very well, and that's Ivanka Trump yeah. and her conflicts Man. of interest. Oh, my God. I don't know if they've heard the latest. First of all, since her daddy got elected, right, she has not stopped pumping her business all around the world, her fashion line. Yes, she now has a job at the White House. Yes, she said she has put her entire business in trust, but she has not given up financial control of her business. She is the one responsible for any decisions about the expansion of her business around the world, and she is at it full-time boogie. It is a huge, blatant conflict of interest. Since uh, she has, since her father was elected, she has gotten new trademarks to expand her fashion line uh, in Japan for just in February in Japan for footwear, for handbags, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, in Canada, in the Philippines, and in China. And in fact, Associated Press reported yesterday that she got the deal in China was announced and approved the day she's having dinner with the president of China at Mar-a-Lago and her daddy. Tell me that's a big coincidence. So this is what President Xi brings as a present to the Trump family. Hey, baby, you know, you're okay in China now. You can expand your fashion line in China. Uh, at the present time, <coughs> pardon me, she has trademark applications waiting. It, all, all those have already been approved, right? Japan, J Canada, Philippines, China, and others. She has applications waiting in 10 countries, Kuwait, Gutter, Panama, including Kuwait, Gutter, Panama, uh, and Brazil. And get this, between 2016 and 2017, the Ivanka Trump fashion line has soared, increase in sales, double, mm -mm, 771%. Oh, my God. One year. Uh, less than a year. Oh, my God. Since he's elected, her fashion line has soared 771%. So, no doubt, you know, she's a smart businesswoman. No doubt she's making a ton and ton of money. She's smart. She knows what she's doing. She looks, you know, she certainly has got the genes, right? Brilliant promo self-promoter. And I guess these are pretty good products. I don't know. I, you know, I've never seen an Ivanka Trump shoe or I'm handbag. not convinced. I'm not convinced. But anyhow, she's got, and she's got the name. And she, like just like he's putting his name on buildings around the world, she's putting her name, she's put her name on this fashion line around the world. She's making a huge amount of money. Very successful. This one. The problem is you can't have it both ways. You can't be doing that. The ethics and, and, and having a government job at the same time in the White House and be a senior advisor to the President of the United States. And the ethics laws we've learned, the conflict of interest laws, for some strange quirk in American law, do not apply to the President of the United States. He ought to do the right thing and avoid his own conflicts of interest, with, starting with his hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. We've talked about that. But technically, legally, Donald Trump is exempt. Ivanka Trump is not. And so this, this is the makings of a lawsuit. There are already a couple of underway. But w between her fashion line and her own interest in that hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue, uh, she is a walking conflict of interest, a walking illegality uh, in, in the Trump White House. And I just hope that uh, these lawsuits proceed fast and uh, they stop her in her tracks. Look, this is what we were worried about with Donald Trump. This is one of the things that totally. we said is that he's going to use, like, best case scenario, best case scenario, he uses the office to get himself and his family even richer, right? And that's what's happening. They, they've turned. That's exactly what's happening. They've turned the White House into a cash cow. Yeah. Right. By the way, he has, by, and he does it by going to Mar-a-Lago almost every weekend, uh, by going to his own golf course here. Uh, just outside of Washington, Northern Virginia, when he stays in town, um, by going to his, the only place he'll ever go out to dinner, 
is his hotel up the street from the White House. Every time Garbage goes, restaurant. Every time he goes to one of those properties, right, he is enforcing and promoting the Trump brand, of, of course. Uh, every dollar spent in every one of those properties around the world eventually, if not right now, is going to go into Donald Trump's pocket, part of it at any rate. His sons are running around the world with Secret Service protection promoting the Trump brand. And his daughter is doing so from inside the White House. Blatant conflict of interest. 